Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Lisa's 14 Days of Self Love. And welcome to day six. And yes, y'all still see me in the car. I, and yes, I still have on the same outfit as I did yesterday because I'm actually trying to record two videos. I'm making, look, I'm making the most use of my time as I'm on this hour drive. Today, we're going to talk about social media and how this ties into your self love. Now, I've, you know, went on some social media detoxes where I deleted my Instagram or deleted my TikTok and didn't do no scrolling. And part, part of this is because I would compare myself to other people and I would feel like I'm not enough. Doing a self, I'm doing a self-love workbook and if you watch, I think day three or day four, I had showed y'all the self-love workbook. And there was a page in the self love self love workbook that said social media cleanup, and basically in this um, part of the workbook, it was saying to do an inventory on your social media, and I would encourage y'all to do this too. Do an inventory on your social media, and the book said, you know, analyze who are you following, and what is going down your feed. Now, this could mean Instagram. This also could mean YouTube because I know I'm on YouTube a lot. And if you're on YouTube a lot and you watch all the people, even do a you um, an inventory on your YouTube subscriptions to see who you subscribe to. If you're on Twitter, if you're on Snapchat, TikTok, any kind of social media platform that you're on, do an inventory. And so in the book, it said... How do you feel after you finish scrolling through social media? Do you feel like full of self-love? Do you kind of like feel down or kind of feel like maybe you're not doing enough or maybe you're not enough? How do you feel? And so I kind of did a social media cleanup a while back. If you go look at my Instagram, if you follow my Instagram, my Instagram is Lisa Smiles with the Z at the end. You'll see I'm not following a whole lot of people. Now... At first, it challenged me because it was like, I got like 4,000 something followers on Instagram. And I don't get caught up on the numbers like that. I really don't get caught up on the numbers. And I can't get caught up on the numbers because people wish you watch. It is what it is. But I was like, I started to analyze who I was following. Like the people who I was following was kind of like not up uplifting me like they didn't ha they didn't bring value to my life or they wasn't it, it just wasn't good and I'm thinking like we spend a lot of time on social media scrolling and that's another thing I try not to do as much anymore I try to make it intentional like I try to either be promoting my business or something like that be up there with a purpose and I and I be I'm very mindful of all that scrolling I'm doing because you got to keep in mind you feeding stuff into your spirit so I started to do a social media cleanup and I started unfollowing a whole lot of people. Now, I know some people unfollowed me back because they probably got offended because they probably like, who she think she is? She um only following like 300 something people. Yeah, I think I'm only following like 300 something people and I have like 4,000 something followers. And that's not even, 300 people is not even 10% of my followers because 10% would mean I would need to be following 400 people. But you know what I said? I don't care about what other people think. Um, I don't care about what other people think. I need to follow people who's feeding into me. If they're offended, cool. I don't care. If you want to unfollow me, unfollow me. If you don't like me, unfollow me. Don't even build my page. Don't even build my YouTube. You know, and the way I see it is you just making room for more people who, who are on the same page as me to follow me. So, God bless you. No hard feelings. But... I started to notice like some people they post like a lot of people just post their highlight reel or a lot of people just post toxic stuff like they always negative and so I have to think like when I'm scrolling I want to be affirmed I want you to inspire me to educate me make me laugh or just be inspired and some and I do follow some people who are not content creators who might be some of my clients or people who I grew up with and they're even though they might not have they're not content creators like me but I can tell they're posting from a pure place like not 
bragging, but just showing like I might have a client or a friend that posts when they just had their baby or just updated baby pictures. That's fine, but some people I had to unfollow because they not posting from a pure place and it's not adding no value to my life. So I thought about that and when I started to clean up my social media, I started to notice like when I would scroll through social media, I didn't feel as bad or comparing myself because y'all don't know what them people had to do or y'all don't know what's going on behind the scenes of that post y'all don't know what's going on behind the scenes so you have to be mindful of that and clean up your social media accounts because you're on there all the time anyway so you might as well follow people that's going to uplift you and that's going to empower me empower you that's going to maybe help you learn something give you a good laugh that's non-toxic and the reason why that flows into self-love is because if you're constantly seeing this stuff that's toxic and does not add no value to your love to your life you will start to feel down about yourself and you will start not to love yourself more you'll start to think like well maybe i should go get me a bbl too because all the girls who I follow on Instagram got BBLs and flat stomachs. Maybe I should go get me a surgery. Or let's just say you follow other people and it's nothing wrong with designer and having luxurious stuff. It's nothing wrong with that. But you can tell some people are posting their lifestyle to brag, not not humbly. And you start to think, well, shoot, maybe I should go out here and get the, the latest iPhone. Shoot, maybe I should go out here and get the latest new kits and all the designer bands knowing good and well your account is about in the negative if you swipe for a dollar double cheeseburger it's gonna cause you a 35 dollar overdraft fee you know what i'm saying or maybe i should go be a home owner and you know what sophia melanie talked about that don't and that's another thing don't make nobody feel bad because they renting buying a house is not for everybody and that's another thing people will look at people Maybe I should go out here and buy a house, knowing good and well the way their finances set up, they need to rent some more. So, even if you have to log off and delete your social media for a couple of days, because let me tell you, when I take social media breaks, it's wonderful because I, I'm not comparing myself to anybody. I'm working on myself, I'm living on myself, and I'm not seeing what everybody else is doing. And don't let nobody make you feel like, Oh, she don't want to be on social media because she's not confident and because she can see other people. She she don't want to see other people win because she's not winning. No, it's not that. It's just that sometimes we put too much focus on what other people are doing and we're not doing our own growth work. We're not. If you focus on yourself, you're going you gonna to always be ahead. Like I gave the analogy. I have a podcast the thoughts of lisa smiles i have a podcast and i can't remember when i recorded but i made an analogy about focusing on yourself and in the podcast i said imagine okay for example i can give this example i'm on the highway right now i got my eyes forward i'm looking on the road yes occasionally i might look to the side because you know people be junking and jiving on the highway But I got my eyes forward. I'm focusing on me. I'm focusing on my car and keeping myself safe so I can get to my destination. So if I'm driving the whole time and I'm looking at the car beside me and I'm not seeing what's coming in front, I'm going to crash and hit. And then I'm going to be behind. And that other car is going to still be going. You know what I'm saying? That other car, that's going to still be going. And you're going to feel like you're behind in life, like you're not doing enough because you were steady watching somebody else. But if you keep your eyes focused straight ahead to your goal and what you're doing, you're not behind. You're going to keep moving forward. It's okay to occasionally look left and right to see what other people are doing and congratulate them. Give them a hand cap clap. Because I do believe in it. Supporting other people, supporting other businesses. Yeah, occasionally look to the side. I'm like, okay, I see what she's doing. That's good. But let me keep focusing on myself because you're going to keep moving forward. And see, that's the issue. We think other people are further than us in life but the only reason why it looks like that is because your focus is so on them like you're not working on yourself you got a business you want to start you're not starting that business because you're comparing your growth to somebody else but that person was focused on themselves and was growing their business but you're looking at like 
oh, I want to start a YouTube page, but I ain't got all the equipment. But look what she got. Oh, I want to have a baby, but look what they doing. Oh, I want to get a new car. Oh, I want to get a new house. Oh, I want my body to look like this. You not focusing on yourself. You putting too much energy scrolling on social media and not focusing on yourself. And I'm not saying social media is just bad because you can make it make sense for you. But be mindful of how long you are scrolling and watching another person. Be mindful. Don't put too much energy in social media. And the reason why you need to clean up your social media is because you need to be focused more on you and focus on things that's going to empower you and uplift you. This is all a part of self-love, all of it, even your social media. And your social media says a lot about who you are. And who you, The people who you following says a lot about who you are. It says a lot about who you are. If you following a whole lot of gossip and sites, it says a lot about who you are. So just keep that in mind um, for day six of Lisa's 14 Days of Self-Love. Thank y'all so much for listening, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!